Hey you guys, what's up? So today we are doing a dossier that just came out on the Perlovia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Again, my pronunciation sucks and I probably got that wrong, but on the off chance I got that right, well then, bonus points for me, smash the like button, I guess. Yeah, this thing looks like a giant rat with teeth. It, uh, actually, it, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of a sloth. I don't know why. I, you know what? Let's, yeah, let's go into the dossier. Perlovia perfectly embodies the element of surprise, though, uh, big word, such as Perlovia were once thought to be herbivores. I discovered that this creature is, in fact, a patent hunter of the most clever sort. So it's a carnivore. Okay, all right, that's good to know. It, it eats meat. I mean, I would assume with those giant fangs in front of its face. It, yeah, it probably eats mammoth steak. After burrowing beneath the jungle floor, Perlavia enters a state of hibernation and can go extended periods without any food. Okay, so that's going to be good for people that are inactive in tribes or have these things that are like, I gotta take a week off because I'm going on vacation. They won't come back to their dinosaurs and creatures being dead. At least, not these ones, maybe? I don't know. When some unfortunate creature eventually wanders by, Perlavia dramatically bursts through the ground, tearing into its prey with its large canines before the victim can react. Oh my god, so many people are gonna get jump scared by this thing that apparently if that's what it does, it comes out of the freaking ground. What the hell? I've, I didn't... Wow, that's kind of impressive. Domesticated. Though Perlavia is ill-suited to the life of a mount, well, yeah, I would assume so, it seems like it's pretty small. Its usefulness in staging an ambush or as a village guardian cannot be underestimated. With the tamed pack of Perlavia, one can assemble a literal minefield of deadly claws and teeth. Hell yeah, this is like... This is like a mobile a mobile ambush trap. It's like a mobile trap. That's crazy as hell. That's actually really cool. However, any ambushes using Prolavia must be planned well in advance, as it will refuse to hibernate if it senses any threat nearby. Oh. Okay, so if there's anything around you, well then obviously it's not gonna wanna hibernate. I mean that's probably just self-preservation right there, I assume. I mean that's that's pretty basic. Overall, I think this thing is cool. Lots of big words. Okay, a couple big words in this dossier, but whatever. I couldn't say like two of them or one of them, nanoctopith something, whatever it is. Either way, this thing looks cool. It's a mobile trap. You can't mount it. Uh, it is, its temperament is patient and it is a carnivore. Overall, I think this is going to be a great addition to Ark in, in, in general. It looks pretty cool too. Pretty savage actually. I don't think I'd want to come across one in the wild. I get the feeling these things are going to jump scare the shit out of people. Probably me included. So I'm going to be kind of nervous walking around other people's bases. Especially if this thing comes up out of the ground and bites my face. Like that's not going to be... That's not going to be a good time. You guys let me know your comments in the comment section below. What do you think about this thing? Do you think it's a good addition? Do you agree with it? Do you like its teeth? How long does it hibernate? I don't know. Questions, comments, anything. Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.